Do you like waiting? How about spreadsheet? Help me! Help me! Do you like not being a barbarian, but still using their weapon class? <sighs> then Hunter might be for you. Alright, so there's a huge preface to this video that I need to mention. If you're not at least level 80, this, none of this is gonna work literally none of it this is it's gonna be awful you're gonna get no xp you're just gonna get mad at yourself so probably just keep him afk for a while before that so the biggest part of a hunter build it's let, let's be real you've probably heard about it, it it's the mana to have enough mana to cast all your spell off cooldown all the time you need 5.4 mana regen which is worse to get than it would sound like so, there's a few things we can do to get it. First of all, we can go for the new talent book that drops from World 2 bosses. That one is really good and you probably should go for it first. Second on the priority list is most likely Post Office. Post Office is so nice, it gives a cooldown reduction, it gives percentage mana, base mana. It's the full package, it really helps. And then after that, we move on to just mana card. There's a few mana card that can really help you if you're a low, a low, low level. It's really up to your own judgment if cards or spending points into tab one mana is going to be better for you. So after figuring out your mana, then we move on to a completely different issue, which is just straight up damage. Since archer bows are kind of not very good, you, you have to use a spear. It's legitimately millions of extra XP every hour if you use a spear over a bow. It's, bows are not even worth considering unless you are very, 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 very low level. One of our biggest source of damage after the last update is uh, Ludi McShooty and Vein of the Infernal. They, they've been buffed so insanely hard that they should be the first thing you think about at all when you're making your hunter and trying to reach uh, the minimum damage to one-shot snobbies. There's a spreadsheet that will help you a lot about looting and shooting. It's insanely hard to keep track of every single item in the game and reaching 500 item is a huge pain and I don't even think someone that's not using a spreadsheet would really reach it. Then uh, after figuring out how you're gonna handle uh, looting and shooting in vain of the infernal uh you need to think about armor armor and weapons and stuff and your your best friend in this adventure is definitely a random stone because when i started i didn't have anything like e-phone or shrunk bludgeon or chaotic pandan or dead wish or any that kind of stuff i just had two simple steel band a steel shank and like a few other items that had weapon power on it and that was the only way that i could possibly increase my damage to a point where the xp was good enough a quick thing i'll mention uh, for damage uh, is is golden food you get a lot of golden kebabs from king of food but you you're most likely already doing that so i'm just throwing this out there just in case so to move on to the build, the, the first thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to reset your post office. Right here, I go for 200 points to Magician Starter Pack because it's the most efficient. After that, it, there's a little bit diminishing return. So I'm just gonna get 200 points in there, clean, simple. Then I'll, I'll put the rest of my point to unwanted stats. Moving on to the actual talent point build, uh, the first thing I'll do is I'll look how much mana regen I need exactly, and with the cooldown reduction from Magician Starter Pack, I need around 5.8. 5 so I need to reach 5.8 mana regen per second, or 580 mana. So the first thing I'll do is I'll calculate with pulsation how much I need exactly, and that's around 420 mana. So all I was missing to reach 420 mana was 13 point into the tab 1 mana scale. So I, I've already saved a lot of points for that. Then it's just the rest for tab 1 is just classic. It's sharpen axe, it's uh, more damage. Uh, I get enough accuracy to reach 2.65 so I can always hit uh, golden crab, uh, crystal crab at Snalvis, sorry. And then I'll max uh, agility and movement speed. If you're a little lower level than I am and your Shakrissi bubble is not that strong, you don't have to go for 2.65k accuracy right now. 
but keep in mind that crystal crab are a lot of xp they're over 60,000 xp a pop for me so when you get a little further in it, it's definitely worth it to try to increase pump your accuracy up so tap two is pretty much the same for everyone uh you're gonna have to max high polymer limb of course and then you have to split your points between fame the infernal and piercing arrow uh, the reason I have 80 in Piercing Arrow is that I don't need the extra damage and it does not get an extra target from level 80 to 100. So I, I, I prefer it at 80 so I can spend more points on other stuff. And Vein of the Infernal, you, you just max it as soon as you can. It's real good now. Alright, so Tab Tree, you might have seen it before. It's, it's kind of a classic. You need 90 point in Trap. You don't want any more. You don't want less. You, you want 87 point in Uwu Rar, and the reason it's such a specific number is that you need 33 seconds for Snellbees to respawn instantly, so that's 87 points. Then you want to just like pump Ludomix Shoot as high as you can, daily max it, because it's an insane amount of damage that comes from there once you've uh, gone through the trouble. So, if you're like level 95 or 100 or 110 even, You've noticed that you've got a lot of point left over. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through our cards. We're gonna equip our card build and just figure out what you need. Like it's probably gonna depend on your damage and your accuracy. Uh, so just try to pump up your damage as close as you can to 35,000. And if you don't quite reach 35,000 with dam the damage card, uh, then it's time to use all the leftover point from the talent build on, for example, tap to agility or just like legitimately anything that will pump your damage up, even a tiny amount, because anything will translate to hundreds of hundreds of thousands of XP an hour. And of course, if you if you've got the enough minimum damage already, like I do, well, you can just spend that on extra anvil point or production speed or extra like XP for. Like, if anything that your heart feels, like, extra drop rate's nice, too. I hope this video answered most of your under question. It's a really cool class, and I love talking about it. Also, if you're gonna complain about me releasing this video more than a week after the last one, fuck you.